Grand Circuit products make such a variety of shoes to benefit our horses. They're therapeutic shoes, regular shoes, such a wide variety of designs and thicknesses for any ailment that the horse might be suffering in the hoof or lower limb. But every once in a while, you need something that's just a little bit different than what's available. So they also make all kinds of inserts for frog support, Z bars, and straight bars. And so what I've done is I've taken this shoe, which is a wedge heel, easy breakover, and cut a frog support that I'm going to weld in there. The advantage here is that I could put it on the bottom side or I can put it on the top side depending on the, the shape and height of the frog. And if I was going to use an impression material or some other passive palmer support, I could do that with this frog support. The difficulty here is that we have disparity in thicknesses of material. So if I'm doing it in the forge, this is going to melt long before this is even hot enough. So I'm going to use a combination of forge and torches to put this together. I use the forge because the propane is much less expensive for me than the acetylene and the torches. And I can get to an even temperature up in the shoe and uh, it is more efficient for me. As with any aluminum welding, it's so important to have it clean. Make sure that every part of the shoe and device you've cut is free of that oxidation. Also be sure that your rod is free of that oxidation. And by heating this first in the forge, it's made it easier for me to clean it up. I want it on a flat surface, make sure that I have it in the position I want it in. I'm also going to clean up the rod. I want to keep the flame moving and I'm just looking for, get, get my rod down in there. And you'll look for a little roughness on the surface and then keep your flame moving on and off. The, the tip that I have on here, I have a slightly longer blue core than you would have when you're welding steel. Not quite so much oxygen. Once I've stuck that together, then I can clean it up with my grinder. And if you're using a belt sander or grinder, you can put soap on the belt to keep the aluminum from building up in that belt. It's just one shoe, a little bit of weld, so I'm just going to brush it off and then I'll use my hot rasp and clean up the edges.
The learning curve of welding aluminum can be an expensive procedure. Take some of the tips that I showed you and practice that. Be far more delicate with thoroughbred or race plate shoes. And uh, don't be afraid to try it on some old shoes. Practice a little bit before you go out there. And good luck with it.